Hi everyone, welcome back. And today's yoga flow is gonna be for post walk. So we're gonna be looking at obviously the muscles in the legs and the hips. And we're gonna start standing. So I assume that you've just been on your walk and you're back home. So come and stand on your mat with me. Feet are about hip width apart. Fan out the toes and then just give yourself a moment to like ground into the feet. Roll in the shoulders away from the ears, relax the hands. Just take a moment to be still here. So close your eyes. Chin is parallel with the floor and just give yourself time to settle back into your home, back onto the mat. Take in a smooth breath in through the nose. And a long sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Lovely, smooth breath in through the nostrils. And a long sigh out. Shoulders drop, jaws drop. One more breath in. And sigh out. Lovely. And then when you're ready, blinking the eyes open. We're gonna start with the feet. So if you struggle with balance at the moment, you can bring your hand onto a wall. We're just gonna turn the toes back. So you're coming onto the top of the feet, stretching through the top of the ankle, top of the toes. Now, in your own like kind of pressure, pushing the, the knee and the foot kind of forwards, find your own intensity here. Lovely. You're welcome to stay here, or maybe you move the foot from side to side so you stretch even like the little toes and the big toes. Yes, I know it feels kind of awkward, but it should feel kind of nice as well. Lovely. Your feet don't get to be in this shape very much. So it might feel kind of uh, maybe uncomfortable or like different, but not painful, it should never be painful. Lovely, and then release that foot, give that foot a little bit of a shake out, plant those toes back down. The toes should feel a little bit more maybe awake now. Good, and let's do the opposite side. So turning the toes over, pushing the top of the foot forwards, maybe holding here or maybe just moving the foot from side to side, just very subtle, very small movements. This is nice if your shoes with long walks maybe get a little bit uncomfortable, if your toes maybe feel like they're clawing or gripping in your shoe. This is a nice kind of relief for the toes. Lovely. And then releasing the toes, give it a little shake out, plant both feet down, just notice how your toes feel now. Good, as you inhale, reach your hands high up overhead. See if you can lift on out of the waist and then interlace your fingers, but then release your first finger. So it's like a, a gun almost. Point the index finger up towards the ceiling. See if you can draw the shoulders away from the ears. So the tendency is to like bunch up by the ears, draw the shoulder blades down, zip up through the belly, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, come on over to one side. So you stretch through the waist. Lovely, inhale through center. Over to the opposite side. Lovely, inhale, center. This time as you exhale, come on over more. Can you push your hips out to the side more? So you feel it more into the side of the hip. Lovely, inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side, pushing that hip out, almost like you're making a banana shape with your body. Lovely, inhale, come on up through center. And then as you exhale, forward fold, bending the knees. So keeping the knees nice and bent, the head is really heavy. So just check in with yourself that you're not holding up that head. Maybe give it a little nod out, yes. Maybe shake it, no. Good, and then soften the knees even more and just kind of distribute the weight differently in the feet. So maybe you kind of rock from side to side. Maybe you shift the weight forwards into the toes and then back into the heels. Notice how that feels. Hmm. And just let, let that upper body hang. You might feel the spine begin to decompress as the discs between the vertebrae kind of separate, find a little bit more space between one another. Wonderful. And then heel toe your feet to the outside edges of your mat, big toes pointing out, fingertips on the mat, and then bend into the knees. We're gonna sit down into a yogi squat. So take your time, sending those sit bones down between the heels. Hands can stay on the mat totally, or hands to heart center, totally wherever you need to be. 
and just feel that nice lengthening of the tailbone and the lower back. Good. Options, you can keep your hands here or hands on the floor and then just take a little movement from side to side. So kind of shift up the weight in the feet, working in through the hips a little. You can even use your hand to kind of prise open one hip. See how that might feel and prise open the other hip. So nice slow movements. This is a nice slow stretchy one to do post walk. If your walk is already like your form of exercise, let this be just the stretch out. So rather than coming home from our walks and just like sitting down and letting our muscles kind of seize up and cool down, see if we can give them a little stretch out first which is gonna help us with recovery and stop us getting like aches and things in the muscles. Lovely, from here, planting the hands down. Let's come to an all fours position. Good, spread the fingers nice and wide. Let's just take a couple of rounds of cat-cow really slow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forwards, look up, and then hold it here for a couple of breaths. So you're twerking the tailbone up, crown of the head is pointing up. Lovely, take a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, round it out. Let's take a couple of breaths here. So push the floor away. Feel your shoulder blades spread. And really suck up the belly. Good. On your next breath in, let's come to a neutral place now and stretch out through the calf muscles. So extending your right leg back in space, pushing through that heel. Now, if this isn't nice on your wrists, you can totally come down to your forearms. Let's start with a little rock forwards and back, forwards and back. And just lightly working in. Good, after you've had a little bit of a mooch here, press back through that heel, keeping the leg very straight, very strong. I don't know if you can hear that hail and rain outside, but it is crazy. <laughs> Good, if you're on your forearms, Come back up onto your hands, and then you're going to lift your right leg off the mat. Good. Finding your balance, float your left fingertips forwards. We're gonna go for a bit of a quad stretch. So bending the right knee, you're gonna grab a hold of the foot with the hand, and then push the foot into the hand, coming into this quad stretch and shoulder opener. So find your balance, fix your focus. The breath is still there. Lovely, take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, let go of the foot, bring the knee down. Awesome, take a little shake out of the tailbone, just to take a little reset. Good, let's do the opposite side. So extending the left toes back. You can stay on the hands or forearms to protect the wrists. Couple of rocks, forwards and back. And just notice if you feel like different in your left or your right hand side. Nice, and then hold a static stretch here, so pushing through that heel. See if you can keep the hands and the face nice and relaxed, so even though you are pushing back, don't let it kind of claw up in the hands and in the face. Nice, and then slowly coming back up onto the hands if you aren't there already. Floating your left leg up off the mat, Find your balance, float your right fingertips forwards, and then bending the knee, reaching for the foot with the hand, grab a hold of the foot, and then pushing the foot into the hand to find that quad stretch. I find the key here is to look down at a little speck on your mat, so your eyes are focused. Lovely, take another breath. And then as you exhale, let go of the foot. Hand comes down, knee comes down, take a little shimmy, side to side, lovely. Spread the fingers nice and wide, tuck the toes, and then hovering the knees off the mat and slowly begin to send the tailbone back and up. So maybe keeping the knees a little bent, and then begin to straighten the legs out one at a time. See if you can do it with the breath. So inhaling, exhaling. 
nice calming steady breath will help calm the body calm the muscles after your walk today lovely and then taking your feet as wide as your mat even wider if you haven't got a slippy floor but just be careful and then take a little swing of the tailbone from side to side this is nice for loosening up through the lower back it might feel good in your groin area hmm. good and then slightly turn your toes out and bring your heels in so like your yogi squat distance perfect from here we're going to walk our hands back to our feet and we're coming back to a yogi squat at the back edge of the mat good just notice how your yogi squat feels on this second time around Lovely, and then bringing your hands behind and lengthen out the legs in front. Give them a little shake out if they need after that. Good, and then flex your feet back towards you. See if you can really like, imagine your toes were trying to touch your knees. Sit up nice and tall and really feel that opening through the back of the legs. Like even just like this, you feel that kind of stretch through the legs. Lift up your kneecaps, engage your quads, take a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, forward fold. So maybe we get to our knees, maybe we can touch our toes. Try not to be too obsessed with grabbing the toes. And then just find your like happy medium. So be somewhere that feels nourishing and like it's a good service rather than like uh, forcing yourself or overstretching. We always want these postures to feel like nice and not like it's torture or uh, yeah, like we're trying too hard basically. Lovely, take a nice big breath in. Big sigh out. Whew. Lovely, walking the hands back towards you. Bring the hands behind, Just give the legs a bit of a shake out after that. Nice. From here, we're going to come to a cross-legged position, but bring your right shin in front. So the left leg comes in and your right shin is in front. Good. And you want your ankles underneath your knees, so it's not like a tight cross leg. It's like a looser kind of box version. Now, some of us might be able to get our right ankle on the left knee. You can always put a brick here or a blanket or something if there's like a big gap. Otherwise, right shin in front of the left shin. Take a breath in, sit up nice and tall. And then as you exhale, begin to lean forward. Now you can rest here. You can even like have blocks to like rest your hands on, rest your elbows on. Or maybe your hands walk even further forward. And you just start to feel a nice stretch through the lower back, maybe in towards the side of the hip glute area. Let the head be heavy. And don't worry about the back rounding a little bit. See if you can make these like as enjoyable as possible. Hmm. And so for some of us, this is like a lot. So you might even just be like a slight lean forwards up here and that's, that's a good place for some of us. Lovely. Nice breath. A little sigh. Whew. And then slowly come on back up, bring your hands behind and just lengthen out the legs. You can use your hands to help you if you need. Give them a little shake out in between. And let's do the opposite side. So your right shin is going to tuck in first and then your left shin is going to be in front. Left foot can go on top if you wish and come forward. That's quite intense for a lot of us though. So sit up tall, make sure both sitting bones are grounded and then come on forward. So leaning the belly forward, you might want to rest here. Maybe come a little further. Just be mindful of knees here. So you can always prop up with blankets and pillows and things to really support the knee. And then breathe into where you feel it. That place where it feels like there's tension or almost resistance. Wonderful. 
beautiful. Take a nice smooth breath in through the nose. Sighing it on out. Whew. Good, and then walking the hands back towards you. Bringing the hands behind, lengthen out the legs, give them a little bit of a shake out. Lovely, and then come find a comfortable seat. So whatever's comfortable for you, cross-legged, kneeling, totally up to you. Rest your hands somewhere in your lap or on your knees and then close off the eyes just for a few moments to finish the practice. And then just come back to your natural breath. So just notice how you're naturally breathing. Noticing how that lower half of the body feels. Noticing how the mind maybe feels after your walk and a little bit of a stretch. Bringing the hands together at heart center. Bowing the head towards the heart. Take this opportunity to really thank yourself for carving out time in your day for both your physical and mental well-being. Thank you all so much for practicing this short yoga sequence with me today. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me for this practice. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I'll see you on tomorrow's flow.